What's up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new anime film, Tiled Abanaba. Now, you know, I love DreamWorks and stuff. You know, I love the Shrek franchise. The High Train Dragon is great. So, I was actually... So, I was really intrigued by uh, Abanaba, and I gotta say, Abanaba is another DreamWorks uh, head. It's, it's not really DreamWorks' best film, nothing like that. But I really got invested in this movie. Either, you know, I really thought it was, like, very, uh... I thought it was very, um, cute. It was very adorable. You know, really charming. Uh, the animation was great. I mean, you also, uh... The visual effects in this thing was really stunning. And I really got invested with the, uh... Characters here. Like, you got this, uh... In it, you got this, uh, young girl named, uh... Named Yi, played by, uh, Chloe Bennett from Agent Shield fame. Who pretty much, like, uh, who's really, like, this, uh, you know, uh, tomboy who works for, like, uh, odd jobs to, like, save up for, uh, the trip across China that she was planning to take with her father before he, uh, passed away. And he ends up, and she ends up, uh, meeting this, like, uh, this, she ends up finding this, uh, Yeti, um, named Everest, which, by the way, the movie is actually supposed to be titled Everest, but they decided to change it to a Bonaba. Because, remember, there is a movie called also called Everest, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, he, she ends up, uh, pretty much meeting this, uh, you know, a Yeti named Everest, uh, in, like, on the top of her rooftop. And, uh, he's being, and he ends up escaping from this, like, uh, science place, like, this, you know, science, uh, zoo, you know, uh, zoo-like place. And you got the, uh, this, really got this, uh, zoo- um, this, uh, you know, billionaire named, uh, Burnish, played by, uh, voiced by Eddie Izzard, who wants to, like, uh, who really wants to, uh, capture the, uh, the Yetis. So, uh, you know, to have him for his, like, a private, uh, collection, and so, uh, so that way, uh, Yi could, uh, you know, protect the Yeti, uh, she, her, and her, uh, two friends, um, Who's this uh, basketball uh, kid named uh, Peng, you know, played by Albert uh, Tassai. And uh, this, like, you know, ladies man named uh, Jim, played by uh, Tenzin, Norgay uh, trainer. Decide to, uh, they decide to uh, travel with, uh, with you to uh, bring um, the Yeti, to bring Everest back to uh, Mount Everest. And... You also got, uh, Burnish's, uh, henchwoman, um, named Dr. Zara, voiced by, uh, Sarah Paulson, and, like, all my guards who are trying to, uh, pretty much take down the kids who, uh, get, uh, to pretty much, uh, capture Everest and all. And I thought the storyline was really great. You know, it, like, I really also, uh, there's, you know, some jokes in this that will be for, uh, both kids and adults, like, there's jokes that I think, uh, you know, 10-year-olds will like, and there's actually jokes in this movie that, uh, you know, adults could probably get kicked out. And I thought, you know, this is like the, uh, this is the second year in a row where they, uh, have a movie coming out about a Yeti. First we had that movie, uh, Smallfoot, and now, uh, and now we got, uh, a Bonobo. I mean, does Hollywood have a thing with Yetis nowadays, but, hey. But, uh, yeah, I really, I really got kicked out of a Bonobo. I mean, it's not really the best anime film of the year. You know, Toy Story 4 is still the best in my opinion. But I still got kicked out of it. It was low, it was loads of fun. You know, the, an like I said, the animation was great. Uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think this movie probably might end up getting nominated for best anime feature. Because it's actually that good of a film. So, maybe, I mean, this anime, this year, anime year was pretty packed. So, I'm thinking maybe, uh, Abonimo could really slip in their best anime feature. Definitely not win, because I think that on this game goes to Toy Story 4 or uh, Frozen 2. But, for just a nomination, I can really see this game nominated. And, it should, because it was really good. Like, you know, the, the vid And, Everest was pretty cool, too. I mean, you know, throughout the whole, like, Throughout a couple of scenes, Everest kept, like, uh, making stuff, making, like, tiny stuff very, uh, bigger. Like, he made, he ended up making a blueberry pretty big. He ended up making, uh, a, uh, a daffodil, uh, really big. I mean, I know that looked really cool. And, 
yeah, I mean, if you guys, you know, if you guys haven't seen Abonaba, I'll say it's, you know, in theories, you got released. Give Abonaba a shot. It's it's a really good film, and I think you'll, I think you'll have a fun time with it. I mean, like I said, it's not the best anime film of the year. It's not the best movie of the year or anything, but, you know, for a enjoyable anime film, I think you'll probably get kicked out of it. But uh, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to check out Abominable? If so, what you know of it? Did you like it? Did you uh, not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is C Movie signing off.